Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing. Welcome to Alien Theorist Theorizing Case File 257, The Voronesh UFO Alien Abduction Soccer Game Number 1, Hashtag, <laughs> hashtag Trend, Hashtag FYP. Does it, does it search better if we say it? <laughs> if we say the hashtags? Uh, the big uh, tech I'm companies. Brain. I'm Zell. Tech on, tech on 20 more hashtags while we're at it. <laughs> I'm hashtag Braden. I'm hashtag Zell. Hashtag Dan. <laughs> and I'm Andrew. Oh, you're not going to get searched. Hashtag brother. Um, I'm not on anything. <laughs> Before we start, I've got a new a new segment that I want to run past you guys. Uh, I haven't I haven't come up with a name exactly for it yet, or it doesn't have its own theme song yet, like other people's files or whatever we call them. Uh, but it's, it's just not popular enough. As, <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's, it's, no one likes to send it. Good basically, songs, so that's what fine. I'm saying. Uh, but it's, uh, you know, I talked about meeting an Why don't you just say it? Why don't you just be like, please make me a song for my segment? Make me a song. Oh, Mary. <laughs> I'm jealous. <laughs> um, we're we're going to call it like hybrids inside, right? Alien sighting, alien interaction. Um, so I that, uh, you know, I, I tell everyone, if you want to, if you want to have a talk with an alien hybrid, that's trying to learn how to communicate in, <laughs> in earth, uh, go to your local Facebook marketplace, try to buy anything and you will find yourself talking to some sort of, uh, alien hybrid, whether it be reptilian, uh, you know, Zeta reticulin, something that is trying to figure out how us, uh, earth people communicate. However, I recently had a run-in with one of these aliens in real life. Uh, I went to Save On Foods, local grocery store, uh, Dan. I go on Sundays because there's so many mouth breathers there any other day. <laughs> so I'm like, Sunday afternoon is like the, the best time to go shopping. There's no one there. The only I wonder if everybody is, goes on the other days to avoid you. The king yeah, of probably. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, smart. <laughs> Breathing on all the veggies. Uh, but but there's like all the like the teenager like it's their first job it's like their day to work so it's like you know it's like you, you way at the pros and cons kind of thing so it's buy my groceries and the kid like this little teenager is just ringing the stuff through and he's you know what's your save on card and that's like the points right you get the points you give me your card and collect your points so like scan it and it like rings in the total at the end and like his machine makes a noise and he goes I, this is how he said it. He went, oh, you won. <laughs> That's how surprised he was. So instantly I went, what did I, what did I win? And he goes, I, I don't know. But Savon has this, <laughs> they have this contest where you can win all these prizes and you won. And I'm going, well, that's crazy. What kind of, pri what kind of prizes can I win? He goes, well, there's. You know, all sorts of stuff you can win. I go, well, what's the best prize you can win? He goes, I don't know, chicken broth? <laughs> <laughs> that's the best. That's the best. Is, uh, is it like, like a can? Is it like one well, of those boxes? I was instantly <laughs> so taken aback. I was like, wait, dude, chicken, chicken broth? That's he, the best? He goes, yeah, I don't know. Like, that's the chicken the broth. Best, that's the best prize. And he goes, like, I don't know. It's It's all relative, I guess. And I was like. Oh, okay. I'm disappointed he didn't fuck with you a little what? Bit more. <laughs> what world is like relatively the best so, prize he could win is chicken well, broth? It's a grocery it's a good, store. It's a good question. That's a good prize. Bone I broth? So. That's just expensive. I, I did what I did. Like I meat, though. It'd be like a cut of meat or something. something well, like ask that. what I won. What I actually What'd you win? What did you I actually won, hashtag uh, win? Uh, hashtag I won. Uh, one of the small containers of the Western family, which is like a, the no name brand. Mm. Uh, Greek yogurt, plain. Fantastic. Wow, big! Amazing. How big? Just, you like know, a, one of those like a big one. Not, like, not a big tub, but like just the. I mean, it's pretty okay. good. Yeah, the kicker. Of, so you won six. Our boy, over, our boy over here is fucking lactose intolerant. Too. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, so you won uh, six dollars, is what you're saying? 
basically. Yeah. You won six bucks. But, uh, hey, it wins a like, wins a win, bud. I was like, I'll take it. He the the worst part about that was is he got like he he got excited, which then made me excited. I was like, oh shit, what did I win? And then he not only matched my level of excitement, but then like upped it. He's like, he ramped up. <laughs> I don't know. We're, they have this thing going, and you won. And then he hits me with the chicken broth, unreal. But obviously, alien hybrid doesn't know how to interact, right? So it's, <laughs> sure. He's just new to these things. Yeah, but listen, whatever you've been ringing people in all day. People ain't winning shit. But, you know, this guy won Western Family fucking. Yeah, you probably think it's a scam. I'd be a little excited. You'd be like, yeah, no one's getting broth on my watch. Yeah. (laughs) I'm about to change someone's life. Yeah, Um, man. Yeah. I'm a big broth guy. I love it. Yeah. Do you want to make a soup tonight? But you can now. Yeah. yeah, You weren't going to. You are now. (laughs) Why don't you head down in aisle eight and grab yourself a can? (laughs) Condensed. (laughs) You want an eight ounce Just can of tomato water. paste? Fuck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I was, I was so disappointed. I was like I was like laughing. I was like, oh. It's a yeah, really anticlimactic prize. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's really so good. Uh, it's an alien confirmed alien. They're out there. Uh, if you're having run-ins with these aliens, I want to know, right? We got to start making a map of where you have these alien interactions. So if you're having an interaction with someone where you go, this person is not a human <laughs> because humans don't think this way. Shoot us a message on Facebook. Tell us a story. We want to hear it. I want to ha- have a good laugh. Uh, let us know. Uh, anyways, today we are talking about Voronezh. You have this is a pretty insane UFO sighting slash alien abduction. Actually, it's got a it's got a few of our favorites all wrapped into one. Well, first off, it's also got a ton of eyewitnesses. Uh, it's post Soviet Russia, so it's you know it's a little crazy. Like we're talking like fresh though, right? Like I wasn't oh, the, yeah. the it was fall still. Of, it was still. It was still Soviet. intact. I think and it was like the eve before the fall. Like the wall was going to come down that year. Yeah. 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 Oh yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, there was. The whole, they, we were lining up at the. Head fully. Head fully fallen into. Uh, the curtain has fallen, but it's still. You know, it's still hanging on by a thread at this point. Yeah. It's still like yeah. It's like the yeah. Glass the curtain, curtain fell, and no one <laughs> likes what they saw. <laughs> Nobody. Uh, yeah, so uh, Voronezh refers to the uh, the city. Uh, you wouldn't think it's a small village because I think we've we've talked about of other uh, UFO sightings before, but they've always kind of uh, centered around like smaller villages, like out in the middle, of, kind of the middle of nowhere, Russia. But Voronezh is a relatively developed uh, city. Yeah, it's, um, it's, it's a little uh, bit the, of a you know under village. I, I don't even know. It's, it's a city. Yeah, it is a large city. Um, it, at the time, it had uh, nearly a million inhabitants, you know, crammed into there. Probably those giant, uh, wonderfully uh, architectural, <laughs> appealing uh, Soviet communist black fucking gray, gray, gray Crazy cement apartment projects. buildings. Yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. Uh, so this, this was cities. In, <laughs> and then 20 years later, the population is exactly the same. <laughs> so it's been thriving since. Yeah. Uh, yeah, it, it was an industrial center for things like machinery, electrical products, chemicals, cigarettes. It was a factory town, processed food stuff. It probably smelled great, I'm sure. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Fucking industrial Smoke chemicals, stacks, cigarettes, <laughs> and fucking stacks processed foods. Mm, mix that all together. Sure, fucking burn out your nostrils, sense of smell by the age of like 10. <laughs> Um, but there was a report, like the first report of a UFO, uh, th- this incident, I guess we could call it, because it is, it includes a whole bunch of stuff uh, that goes on, uh, appeared in a local newspaper that was titled Kamuna. That was the name of the newspaper. And it was an article written by one Alexander Mosolov. And the title of the the article was A Soccer Game with Aliens. That's unbelievable. That's amazing. Russia, Russia was already at it with the fake news. Like pushing <laughs> propaganda because there was no there was no soccer game. The aliens did not partake in the soccer game at all. I'm gonna get to the forefront. There was no. They didn't kick the ball. They didn't header it. They didn't. Yeah, nothing, they didn't cheer on the game. And you're clicking <laughs> they had on nothing it. Nothing to do. You're clicking huh? on it like that. You're clicking yeah. on that shit. That sounds like a fucking Super Nintendo game. <laughs> yeah, I guess so. I, I, I mean, anything Mega Man to soccer. get readers of the com- what it was Kimona Matata. <laughs> I mean. The way it's written, it sounds more like a Space Jam style. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, if That'd you read good. that, yeah, like, I'm Pele. Yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> my favorite is, my favorite isekai space jam uh so uh the article spoke about an object which had been seen on september 27th hey guys thanks for watching i know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments but here's the next one over here or if you want to watch the whole thing uncut and after hours just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation you get full access to it on patreon anyways thanks guys enjoy the next video